150 flight brand new luxury car, sir. Ah, hurry! Hang on. Look at this. She's reading a book. That's not open for five girls. I think she might be in a hit. It was the best of times. Stop scaring your mother with that book, boy. Oh my god. And she keeps trying to tell me stories, Harry. It's not normal for girls to be all thinking. I'm gonna have to call you straight back. I'm trying to pull off the biggest business deal of my life, and I have to listen to this. What about me? I've got a whole house to look after. Dinner's for my grandparents, you know. My mom cleans my roots, and then Chevy's talking. But I'm going to make us rich. How rich? Very rich. Russian businessman. Very, very stupid. Your genius husband is going to sell them 155 old banners as brand new luxury cars. But that's not fair. The cars are going down. What about the Russians? Fair, listen to the boy. I'm a ghetto. Fair does not get you anywhere, dickhead twit brain. All I can say is that Kevin Michael has inherited his own man's brains. Hey, son. This is your fault with your stupid books and your stupid reading. That's not right. You're off to school in a few days. I know you had mistress, Agatha Churchill. Scary woman she is. Used to compete in the Olympics, throwing the hammer. Imagine what she's going to do to a horrible little goblin like you, boy. I'm a girl. Now get out of here, little bookworm.
Matilda, what a pleasure to see you here in the library again. Yes, I mean, my mom wanted me to stay at home with her, but I think it's good for grown-ups to have their own space. Your parents must be very proud to have a girl as clever as you. And you tell them stories like you tell me? Oh, how I love your stories, Matilda. That's a hint, by the way. Once upon a time, the two greatest circus performers in the world, an escapologist and an acrobat, fell in love and got married. They performed some of the most incredible feats together, and people would come from miles around. Kings, queens, celebrities, and astronauts. And not just to see their skill, but also to see their love for one another. Which is so deep that you said captured the power of your castle and woke with beef of joy. They moved into a beautiful old house. And although they love each other, they were sad. We have
children, my name is Miss Honey, and today is a very special day, your first day at school. Now, can anyone read this? Me! Me! Pickle me, Miss! I can't! Me! 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 Very well, Nigel. <gasps> um, yes, I think we'd better leave it there, Nigel. We don't want to bust a blood vessel on our first day. Lavender? Is the first one tomato? <laughs> um, no, but tomato is a very good word. Yes! Matilda? I can now read words. So, Matilda, you can read words. Well, I needed to learn to read words so I could do sentences. Because basically, a sentence is a big bunch of words. And if you can't read sentences, then you've got no chance with books. And have you read a whole book yourself? More than one. I love books. Last week I read quite a few. A few? What books did you read? Nicholas Nickleby, Gold Witch Twist, Jane Eyre, The Lord of the Rings, Time and Punishment, and The Cat in the Hat. to the rules. An exception to the rules in my school. Look at these trophies, see how my trophies gleam in the sunlight, see how they shine. What do you think it took to become English hammer throw champion 1969? Do you think in that moment when my big moment came I treated the rules with casual disdain. No, 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 no! If you want to throw the hammer for your country, you have to stay inside the circle all the time. If you want to make the team, you don't need happiness or self-esteem. You just need to keep your feet the line. Sing, children. Two, three, four. If you want to throw the hand up for your country, It is my intention to help this little girl, whether you like it or not. 
Stupid, nasty, question-asking Russians. They took one look at the mileage of the first car and said that these cars were knackered. I told them the mileage is so high because of manufacturing mistake. So you lied? Of course I lied. And they didn't believe you? Of course they didn't believe me. I've got green hair. <laughs> I've got hair. And what's this? Another flaming book. What's wrong with the teller? Oh no. It's a lovely book. Honest, you should read it, I'm cheap. Here's why I think of your lovely. Wait, no, it's a library book. You should, little brat. I want to get my dog for your dog. Now get out of here, you little stinkworm. Do we have any super glue? In the cupboard. And while you're at it, why don't you take your stupid book to your stupid head? Just because you find that one small boundary doesn't mean that you just have to bring a boundary. If you always take it on the chin and worry, I've got my eye on you, boy. It's on a gal. <laughs> Matilda. Yes? Do you all those brains in your head give you headaches? I mean, it's got a head all squished in there. No, it's fine. I think they just fit. Well, I better take them around just in case they start to squeeze at your ears. I'm glad with that, and I think it's for the best if we're best friends. For me! Someone just pulled a whole car of treat onto the trunchbull's chair. Someone told her I did it, and now she's after me! That's not fair. They say she's going to put me in Turkey. What's Turkey? They say it's a cupboard in her office that she throws children into. Slime with nails and spikes and bits of broken glass. There's a place you are sent if you have. Galaxy. 
The stuffer falls asleep off without any notice. We put him there under those coats for safety, didn't we? Didn't we? Definitely. He'll probably think he's in bed when he wakes up. Is it time for school yet, Mum? This isn't my bedroom at all. But hello, Miss Trunchbull. <gasps> Amanda Fripp! Yes, Miss Trunchbull? What have I told you about wearing pigtails? I hate pigtails! But the pieces that make you look pretty. Then your mummy is a twit! Special at home and what sort of teacher? 
not full until you eat the entire cake. But no buts eat. And Mish is heavy sick. You should have thought of that before you decided to steal my cake. No. No? No. 
these psychologists use just a touch too much fun, and their hands became slippy, and she fell. Did she survive? She broke every bone in her body, except for the ones at the ends of her little fingers. She lived long enough to have their child. Love our daughter with all your heart. She is all we ever wanted. And then, she died. <sighs> and then, things got worse. Worse? Oh, Matilda, how could things possibly get worse? I'm afraid they did. Because the anthropologist was so kind that he never blamed the evil sister for what had happened. In fact, he asked her to move in and look after their daughter. She was nothing but cruel to the little girl, beating her if she ever did anything wrong, but always in secret, so that she never suspected a thing. Let's call the police! Miss Phelps, it's just a story. What? Oh yes, of course. I'd better go.
Everyone, gather around. I want my family to share my triumph. Not you, boy. Look out. 155 old fingers on my hands. How could I possibly make the minds go back? I couldn't drive each one backwards, could I? Backwards. When suddenly, I had the most genius idea in the world. I grabbed the drill and using my incredible mind. Attached the drill to the speedometer of the first car, turned it on, and whacked it into reverse. Back. Wood. Exactly. Within a few minutes, I had reduced the mileage to practically nothing. Back. Wood. Ten minutes later, Russian show up. Expensive suits, dark glasses. Russians are nocturnal. I saw it in a program last night. That was a program with <laughs> badges. Same thing. And did it work? Fantastico. Now I'm going to afford Rodolfo all day long. But he trusted me. And you cheated them. What have we done to serve a child like you? You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? I'm going to go down to that school and tell your teacher you're never to be let in again. What? No. And if she does, I'll have her fired. That's right. And you'll never read another stinking book in your life, young man. I'm a girl. Now go to your room, you nasty little creep. Backwoods. Quiet, maggots, while I'm speaking! Reeking with the most 
scary scent. Only the finest nostrils smell it, but I know it's owed oh, too well. It is the odor of rebellion. It's the bouquet of dissent. The smell of belly comes out in the sweat. And if his air will get you sweating, an inch will be belong before I smell the pump of aiding and abetting. A bit of his air will tell us who has a head full of rebellious thoughts. Ho, ho! Just like a rotting egg floats to the top of a bucket of water. A whiff of insurance.
My father had given up his entire house. But did he really do that? Just give her his house? I can't believe he did. Just like I cannot believe he would have killed himself. Which is what she said happened. Do you think she did him in? Don't you, Miss Hunter? I cannot say. All I know is that years of being bullied by that woman has made me, well, pathetic. I was trapped. Let's, let's go to the police. Matilda, we can't. We have no evidence. Besides, my aunt is in much respected. Who is she? Matilda, I can't. Who is she? It's Miss... Miss... Miss Trunchbull? Yes. going to have a very special spelling test. Any child who gets one single answer wrong will go to Chucky. What are you looking at? You. Hmm. Let me see. You. Spell Newt. Newt. N-E-W-T. Newt. What? Miss Honey's told us she's very good at teaching. You, stand up, turn around, and spell the one thing that you all are, revolting. Revolting, R-E-V-O-L-T-I-N-G, revolting. You're cheating. No, I've taught them, with love and patience and respect, that's all. Dare you bring those words in my classroom, madam? You know nothing of teaching, and I will prove it. You, spell amateur like a manual, step through a colis, tomosis. But that's not even a word. You just made it up. Spell or go to choke. And I should warn you, it has silent letters. A M C H E L L A. Oh dear. Oh dear, teary dear. K. I'm so sorry. It was a silent C. You're going to choke ye. I, I got it wrong, miss. You have to put me in Chucky, too. What? D-Y-P, dog, and me. Table, X-A-B-F-Y, and me. What's you doing? What's going on? Stop this. You can't put us all in Chucky. Banana, X-Y-Z-A-F-D, banana. Bully, P-Y-T-L-F-D-R-B-S-W, bully. Chokies for each and every one of you. Look, that's right. On the chokehold. Agatha, Agatha, this is madness. No, it can't be.
trash boy, who is never seen again. The trophies were immediately destroyed, and a new headmistress took over. And her name was? Miss Honey. It was often said that it was the best school in all the land. Matilda was never again able to move things with her eyes. She said it was because she no longer had any need for superpowers. But she still lived with her parents who were mean and cruel and called her names.
this is their final production here at St. Gabriel's. Uh, for a lot of them, it's marked a long journey through uh, school here. And so I've got uh, some flowers. If the patrons could step forward, please. Thank you. 